Do you want to calculate the average order value for your e-commerce store? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to calculate it in this video. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Sam and I love helping e-commerce stores grow remotely. In this video, we're gonna go through step-by-step step how to calculate the average order value for your e-commerce store. We're gonna be using Google Sheets for this. It's gonna be free, really easy to do. I'm gonna jump into my computer right now and take you through it. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're now in our Shopify dashboard and I've gone to the orders section here. So you can see we have all these past orders. What we're gonna do is just go to export, pop up this window, click all orders, and then just put in plain CSV file, export orders. Once that's done, it's then going to send an email to your email address with the export file or a link to download it. Once it's there, let's open it up. So here we have the email now, it's been emailed to me here and it has the order export. Let's open that. That's going to then open a link, download the CSV file down here. I'll move my big face, open up that file. And then what we're gonna do is select the whole file. It's opened up in Excel, but depending on whatever spreadsheet program you have, you can also import it directly into Google Sheets. I'm gonna export, the, uh, uh, copy that, sorry. So copy, and then I'm gonna paste here, we just values. So just paste straight into here. Boom, okay, cool. So now that we have that information there, um, you can always just click this and filter it. And that then allows you to sort this data uh, depending on the order number or anything like that. But what we're gonna do is just open up a new sheet have a new uh, new cell average order value and I'm just going to do that and then the formula we're going to use to calculate the average order value is just average and then in brackets and then we can then go and select which which um, uh, cells we're going to use so go back to the original and then we're gonna go over here to the total and select that whole column enter Okay, there we have that change to dollars. Our average order value for this whole store is $669.30. That's it. And here's the thing, if you that's for the whole life of the store. If you wanna work it out for different products, maybe for different years or months, all you need to do is just separate out the values that you want here, the different orders, put them into a new sheet and run that same formula on that column for total for those orders that are in that sheet. Okay, that's everything. Okay guys, now that we've calculated our average order value for our e-com store, if you found this video helpful so far, please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe for more information. Now I'm going to dive deeper into the average order value metric and how you can improve this and see more success for your e-commerce store. Okay, so we've just calculated this for our store, but what does it even mean? What does average order value mean? Well, basically it's really simple. It just means how much money on average does a first time customer or any customer spend on your store when they just buy one time. Now, why is this important and why do we want to increase this? So this really tells us a lot about the value that our store provides and maybe your products are priced at $30, but the average order value is $35, $40 or $50. This really shows you that people can buy multiple products. And here's the big thing, you're going to spend say, $10, $15 or whatever it is to acquire each customer with your paid ads, maybe with organic, but you still have to get backlinks and all that sort of stuff, but you have to pay to acquire these customers in some way or another. Well, if you can increase the average order value, then even though you pay $10 to acquire that $30 customer, if you can increase the average order value to $40, you're still paying $10 but suddenly boom, you get an extra $10 in revenue, which depending on your profit margin, that could be an extra three to $4 in profit per order. And that's over all the orders. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And so this is why you can really help grow your store, not by getting more customers, but just by increasing the amount that each of those customers does spend. It can be really efficient. It's, it's very similar to say increasing your conversion rate. You're still paying for that traffic anyway, but if you can increase your conversion rate just a little bit, that's gonna pay off in the long run because suddenly it has this ripple effect where all these orders are affected and your store is going to generate more sales in the long run. A good way to think about it is that you're already spending this money to get them in your store in the first place. You might as well spend that energy to try and get them to spend more once they're there. Now how can you increase the average order value of your store? Here are my tips. 
The first one is have a free shipping threshold. Often I recommend just having free shipping overall anyway because many customers expect that. But say if you're struggling to get your average order value up, what you can do is say, hey, free shipping on all orders over $100. Maybe your average order value is $80 and you want to increase that. Well, pick a number above that, maybe $100, maybe $120. That's where you want to really push that average order value and say free shipping over that amount. Now, what's really important here is to do the calculations, do the math yourself and make sure that this is actually profitable. Make sure that if you add free shipping, you know, you're covering that in the actual pricing and the value of your products. Another tip is giving your customers a discount if they spend over a certain amount or they buy a certain number of products. Say they buy a second product, they get 20% off that second product or 50%, whatever works for you. What you can also do is say, okay, if you spend over $200, you get a discount of 10%. Now, even though you're giving them a 10% discount and that cuts into your profit, it actually works out better in the long run because you already spent that money to acquire that customer and you're just increasing the average revenue that they're generating for your store. Another great one is to offer gift cards as well. So say they spend over $200, you give them a $50 gift card that they can use themselves or give to someone else. This is also great for increasing that average customer lifetime value of those customers because then they, they have to come back and use that. They can't just go and use that on a different store. It's a gift card for your store. So they're going to come back and depending on what value that is, they're going to be forced to actually spend more money on top of that. So that can be a really really, really great thing, as well as maybe they give it to a friend or family member and suddenly, boom, you've just got another person in your funnel that, that could be interested in your store um, that you can have there adding to your revenue. Another great thing that's a bit different is making sure you have upsells and cross-sells. Cross-sells, these are similar products that can also solve that same customer's need, but they might be more expensive. And you can do this by having related products, maybe in underneath on the product page or in the checkout where someone might say, oh, this product is a bit more expensive, but it's actually way better for what I'm looking for. And so you can get them in there from that cheap product, maybe you're on your paid ads, but then they actually convert on a much more expensive product. An upsell is where you can sell other items on tops. Like say, for imagine going to McDonald's and buying a burger and they say, would you like fries with that? Well, in the same way on your checkout page, product page, you can add a little thing that says, hey, um, you can also buy this product to complement the product. Maybe it's an accessory and they pay a little bit more but it then, boom, they get uh, an extra product and it increases your overall uh, customer value for that order. It's fantastic. Okay, another great tip you can do is offer a free gift if someone spends over a certain threshold. So maybe you have a certain widget or little gift on your store. It might be a lot less valued than your other products and maybe it's $20 and you're paying cost for that product, selling it for cost. Well, what you can do is put that on your store as an extra free gift that someone gets if they spend massively on the most expensive product or they spend over a certain threshold and what you're doing here is you're giving someone, someone some sort of incentive to really spend more and get that bigger premium product. People love free things. So this really incentivizes those bigger orders and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you just ship that out with that product there and it works really well. Okay, another important metric for your store is the customer lifetime value. This is closely related to the average order value, but it's on a much longer time scale. You're looking at how that person repeats their purchase over time. It's really, really important to calculate. And we're, I've actually done a video on how to calculate this and I'm going to leave a link in the description to this video. I really recommend checking that out because I provide a lot of great tips on how to actually increase the, the, the revenue that you generate per customer. And this is basically this video, but on steroids on a much bigger scale. Now that's everything for today. If you found this video useful, please, please uh, smash the like button here. That really helps us keep making great content. And if you want to learn more about how to grow your e-commerce store remotely, just hit the subscribe button. We're going to be releasing a lot of great videos, case studies, tutorials, even vlogs about running your e-commerce store remotely from anywhere in the world. As always, if you also have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, but for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.